Let's talk about a couple things to consider when you're shooting outside. A couple things that I wanna make sure that would make it easier for me in post-processing is to get a clear background. Lucky for us, right outside of the building, there's a gray wall. Gray works pretty well when we think about the Highway 3 kind of like overall aesthetic. So I saw that wall, I thought it was a great background. Another reason why I decided to shoot specifically at this time, it's midday, so the sun is not only hitting the ground right directly in front of me, but if I take a couple steps back, what we're doing is this light source is still on my face. The closer I get to the light source, out here, I become slightly different illuminated. But the beauty about having the subjects closer to the wall is we have a big yellow building right behind us. By using and leveraging this yellow building, it's as if I'm shooting with a massive reflector. So if I didn't have this yellow building bouncing off light into my subject's face, they would look dull. Another thing to consider is when you're working outside, there's a lot of uncontrollable elements. Hence the wind. So uh, whenever I'm faced with this as a photographer, I want to make sure that I'm, sub I'm turning my subjects towards the wind. So the wind is going in their face, kind of like that Beyonce effect, the J-Lo effect. Girls love that look in post. Now in this particular situation, I wasn't given that entirely, uh, but I was able to turn their body ever so slightly so the wind was kind of whipping against their face at a diagonal. Something that I will take and we'll see actually as the photos come to life. Also one thing to consider is that by taking a few steps, it could be as small as like 10 to 15 feet, I noticed that when I'm standing in this area, there's an open area right here, it's causing like a wind tunnel. When I place my subjects closer to the wall, they were, they were shielded from the wind, from this big whipping wind, and instead had a light hair type of movement. So think about it whenever you're in like a wind tunnel, see can I move 10 or 15 feet before or ahead or behind me, that would change it. Also take into consideration wherever you find natural reflectors. The third consideration is to find a clean background so that in post-processing, you don't have to go back and do a lot of Photoshop.